Hello everyone and welcome to The Sims Lore. Today we're focusing on the second part of the Goth family. This is the last family for the Pleasant View lore series. I've already covered the Goths in a previous video, more specifically Bella, so I'll leave a link down below. But this is the second part to that video as I've left out her kids and some relatives. Okay, let's get into the video. So we've talked about Bella and her abduction, but we've left out quite a few relatives that are worth mentioning. Let's start with The Sims 3. The goth family origins go way back to medieval times when there is mention of Lady Raven Dancer Goth and her book of spells, which is available for purchase in The Sims 3 store. Obviously, the speculations are that the goth family had magical abilities, so it's safe to say that Bella has some and Cornelia Goth, her mother-in-law, had three witch relatives, Bianca, Belinda, and Beatrice Crumplebottom. In the Sims 3 Showtime, there is a stage prop doll said to be modeled after Morgana Goth, speculated to be from around the 17th to 18th century. The description reads, rumored to be modeled after Morgana Goth, whose ethereal beauty drove men to the brink of insanity, this doll is a lovely addition to the Backfire Gothic collection. Even when we look at the Goth family tree, we can see that all the men, with the exception of Eric Darling, who married Agnes Crumplebottom, all wore suits, which shows the wealthy history of the family. In The Sims 3 Supernatural, Gunther Goth's sister, Frida, lives with her uncle Samuel Goth, who died when he ate a magic jelly bean, and his wife Olivia Goth, who also died by electrocution, setting fire to the entire house, killing Frida as well. So they all turned to ghosts. However, they were later joined by a living sim, band manager Helen Hall, who met Sam at a convention. Their family bio reads, After having the house to themselves for a while, the Goth ghosts are now living with a human in their house. Will the Goths be able to get accustomed to living with a human for the first time? or will the inquisitive Helen Hall ask too many questions? So let's look at Cassandra in The Sims 2. Her mother Bella is missing, and Cassandra is engaged to Don Lothario, who is accused of being involved in Bella's disappearance, and is Pleasant View's Don Juan. I have a whole other video on him that I'll link down below if you're interested. The family bio reads, Cassandra is ready to start a family of her own, but can she tame the town Casanova? And can Mortimer bounce back after the disappearance of his wife Bella? Cassandra lives with her father Mortimer and her younger brother Alexander, and she works as a field researcher in the science career track. She is shy, neat, and playful. Cassandra loves playing the piano and reading, and she wants to have a family and live a normal life. Her bio reads, Cassandra is the quiet, mysterious type. Nobody ever knows quite what she's thinking. Cassandra is close friends with Mary Sue Pleasant since they were kids, and is best friends with Darren Dreamer. Cassandra loves Don, but she doesn't know that he's involved with several different women throughout Pleasant View. She also doesn't know that Darren Dreamer, who I've also covered in a video I'll link down below, has a huge crush on her. If Darren flirts with her, there is a chance she might fall in love with him. When you first play the goth family in The Sims 2, Cassandra and Don are in the back garden, which is fully decorated for a wedding. A prompt appears telling the player to do something romantic with Don to get things going and then marry them. After doing so, usually Don leaves Cassandra at the altar. However, if you have a higher relationship with Don, he won't leave her. Cassandra also appears in The Sims 4 alongside her mother, father and brother. She is a C student, has the creative, gloomy and muser traits, has two violin skill points and has the musical genius aspiration. Now on to Alexander. In The Sims 2, he is enrolled in private school and shares Mortimer's intelligence and personality. Alexander's mum, Bella, was abducted before he became a child as he has memories of her teaching him how to talk, but has memories of Mortimer teaching him all three toddler skills. If Alexander goes to college and Mortimer is already dead by then, Bella will be the parent who drops him off at his dorms, even though she's missing, which might mean she's still alive somewhere. In The Sims 3, it's speculated that Alexander wrote two books entitled Murder in Pleasant View, probably to do with his mother, and Baron Graf van Gould. However, it's unclear if it's really him as his parents are children in The Sims 3, but it could still be possible if Alexander had access to a time machine, which is a prevalent theme. In The Sims 3 for Nintendo DS, Alexander lives in Beacon Bay with his wife Cecilia. He looks a lot like his grandfather from The Sims 3, wearing a top hat and suit, and just like his grandfather, he works in the business career and is a CEO. Alexander also appears in The Sims 4 with the rest of his family. He's a child, a grade C student, and has only one trait, which is bookworm. A little fun fact about all the goth mansions. Every home the goths have had so far, except the Sims 4 goth mansion, had their own graveyards where ghosts haunted and scared the inhabitants. 
Okay guys, there you have it, part two of the Goth family history and relatives. Let me know what your thoughts on the family are. I'm also really excited for some future upcoming content that I can't wait for you guys to see. I have so much planned and it's going to be a really good couple of months. I'm sorry I've been uploading so sporadically, my day job is really tiring and so sometimes it's just not possible for me to make any videos. So don't hate me, I have to pay my bills, okay? <laughs> As always, thank you to my patrons, Cal Fenton and Anastasia Kuzminaite. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. That's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and let me know your theories in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter for more lore and updates. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!